to the Bain. My name is Steve Becker, the creator of the show Brazzy Jazzy. Our campaign here is to help spread the word about the show. So a little background about me. I'm a stand-up comedian, filmmaker, real estate developer. I grew up in Rhode Island where my mother was a professor of Brazilian studies at Brown. My parents were often living in Brazil. They lived in Recife, they lived in Salvador, they lived in Rio. So I got to tag along when I was younger and I fell in love with the land. So I came back to New York, I was working in real estate, and when I turned 30, I'm like, ah, this this is going to be more to life. So I said, screw it, moving to Brazil. And that was the classic fish out of water tale. I could barely speak the language, it was hard to go to the supermarket or talk to a taxi driver. And the worst part of all is I couldn't find good Chinese food. But eventually I adapted, I became an addict of acai. Dance in the San Bojimo, here I am dancing for Vila Duru. I go to the beach almost every day and became buff. I was a stud buff. I even had a nickname, Pitchy Bull. Now, look, I'm pale, puffy. I look like George Costanza, or Faust Down. But, but before I lost my tan, my body shape, and my mojo, I did meet my soulmate, my wife Zuzu. She grew up in the Amazon. Love at first sight, but she whipped me into shape. Well, not literally, but you know, I mean, decided to get married. We decided to live here in New York City. Like me in Brazil, she's a fish out of water in New York. She had time learning English, using the subway, is still a mystery to her. But she found good Chinese food right away. Best of all, now she's a success. She has her own Brazilian skincare spa called Spa Zuzu. But between my fish out of water tale in, in Brazil and her trying to survive here in New York, I thought there's gonna be a good story here about Brazil who comes to New York. So six years ago, I said, I'm going to shoot a TV pilot and call it. Rise it, jazz. Oh, stop it! Yeah. Keep going! The essence of the show is about surviving in New York while chasing the American dream while barely able to speak English or having no contacts here. But in a funny way. Sounds great! Yes, there you go. We also want to smash all the stereotypes of Brazilians just being these gorgeous model types, male and female, who think about sex day and night. Well, we all know it's only at night. <laughs> so we decided to shoot the teaser reel in 2013. So I took it to my contacts in Brazil and Hollywood, and the results were interesting. In Brazil, they really laughed it. They liked it. They thought about the concept of shooting a show in New York was exciting. But then, as we all know, the Brazilian economy collapsed. So then I went to my contacts in Hollywood. They watched it, they laughed, and they said, you know what? There's no market for a show about Brazilians in the United States. Can you make her Mexican? Did Just they, like you know? Salma Hayek. What are you talking about? So a couple of years ago, we decided to invest our own money and shoot the first 60 minutes of the show, two to three episodes. We edited it, it looked great. Again, we showed it in Brazil, they're like, yeah, we love it. There's no way we can shoot this in New York. Then I went to Hollywood, they go, yeah, it's funny, but I'm telling you, you're wasting your time. There's no market for a show about Brazilians in the United States. Fine, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna re-edit this show for the internet. We're gonna cut it to webisodes, release it for free, and you'll see that there's a passionate following for the show. That's how much I believe in the Brazilian community in the United States. And that's why I'm here now, to reach out to you to help spread the word about the show however you can. You wanna give money, that's great, because it will help with the marketing of the show. Like our Facebook page, like our Instagram, so if you want to forward this page or our website on to people and say, you got to watch this show, it's unbelievable, that helps too. That would be so nice. Yeah. The more people watch it, the more I can convince people in Hollywood, there's room for a show about Brazilians. i got a writer in here who's got a pitch I think you ought to hear. I think it's hot. Not only is there room, there's a necessity for a show about Brazilians. So in closing, everyone, let's help bring Brazzy Jazzy to the world. Do whatever it is you can. I hope you enjoy watching the show. And as the tagline says, Jazzy's adventures are sometimes sexy, often funny, but they're always caffeinated. Woo! Oh! Oh my god! So buckle up, everyone. It's gonna be a bumpy ride. A bumpy, sexy, caffeinated ride. Steve Becker out.